All right, did you hear about this? Rapper and music mogul Jay-Z is now being accused of raping a 13-year-old girl with Sean Diddy Combs during an MTV VMA after party in the year 2000. The rapper issued a blistering statement in response and directed his comments at attorney Tony Busby, who filed the suit saying, quote, you've made a terrible error in judgment thinking that all celebrities are the same. I'm not from your world. I'm a young man who made it out of the project of Brooklyn. We don't play these types of games. We have very strict codes and honor. We protect children. You seem to exploit people for personal gain. I look forward to showing you just how different I am. Criminal defense attorney Lexi Rigdon joins me now. Lexi, good morning to you. What a development here. So another thing Jay-Z uh, said in his statement is that this was a civil suit filed against him. And he said these allegations are so heinous in nature that I implore you to file a criminal complaint, not a civil one, essentially saying mm -hmm. if I really did these things, treat me the way I should be treated. So how should we be thinking about all of this? What do you think? Well, that's that's some denial from him. And, you know, sometimes celebrities have pretty muted denials like, you know, I'm not going to comment now or I direct all questions to my lawyers. I actually admire the strength of the denial. Um, you know, I think that there is no at this point, there's no objective indicia of reliability to this complaint. Now, obviously, things are going to play out and we're going to end up learning more. But if you look at it on its face, it's a 24 year old complaint. Very significantly, he was not named in the first in the lawsuit in the first instance when it was filed. The girl was allegedly 13 at the time it happened. And in the complaint, it says that she had been given something and she was, quote unquote, woozy. And so I think that this just needs to be looked at in kind of a measured way. Uh, unlike the media is treating some people in the media, you know, Pete Hegseth being one of them, where they automatically hear an allegation and they run with it. I think that this needs to be treated in a measured type of way. We don't need knee-jerk societal reactions. Anybody can make allegations against somebody, and people who are rich and famous are particularly targets. And so, obviously, I don't know what happened, but I think it just needs to play out, and, and you know, we need to give them the benefit of the doubt at this point. Well, that's what uh, Tony Busby is saying. And so this uh, federal lawsuit was originally filed in October. So interesting that we're only learning <laughs> about this now. And then uh, Tony Busby responded to Jay-Z's statement by writing this on X. Since I sent the letter on her behalf, meaning the defendant, Mr. Carter has not only sued me, but he has tried to bully and harass me and this plaintiff. Uh, we will let the filing speak for itself and will litigate the facts in court, not in the media. A spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York uh, declined to comment on whether the office is pursuing this case. So what happens next? Well, who knows what's going to happen with that? I mean, we don't know if the the feds are going to be looking into this. They may well be at this point. I think that there are people looking into further looking into Diddy. I think there might be a superseding indictment coming and probably looking into the people that he's associated with himself. But this also may well be beyond the statute of limitations. So it really just depends. I mean, as, as it stands right now, I can't imagine that there's enough evidence to necessarily bring something because somebody's accuser saying something happened 24 years ago without more evidence is probably not going to be enough. But then again, we don't we don't know what evidence she has. So it really remains to be seen if this is actually going to be passed on to the criminal authorities or if they're working on it at this point. All right. So jury deliberations in the Daniel Penny case are set to resume today after the judge dismissed Penny's second degree manslaughter charge, which carried a 15 year prison sentence. A jury is now being asked to consider a charge of criminally negligent homicide, which carries a four year pr prison sentence. Tell us what criminally negligent homicide is and should Daniel Penny be worried about being found guilty of it? Well, criminally negligent homicide is that he did not act as a reasonable person should have under the circumstances. And this is just very troubling because I was looking at the verdict form and the verdict form actually says for count one, which is the manslaughter, if you find him not guilty, then you move on to count two, which is the criminally negligent homicide. That didn't happen here. There was no finding of guilt of, or, of guilt or any acquittal. It was just they were deadlocked. They sent a note. They said, we can't come to a conclusion. The judge made them go back and keep deliberating. And then treating it almost like an a la carte menu, the state decided to say, all right, well, we'll just dismiss that count. We'll proceed on the second count. Well, that's not what the jury verdict says. That's not how they were charged. It's, it's very, very inappropriate what happened here. His attorneys were outraged. They have every right to be. Um, this is unfortunate. Um, you know, 
whether he should be worried or not, I'm a little bit concerned that there wasn't just a an acquittal or not, you know, a not guilty. So there are obviously holdouts on the jury that believe that his conduct, at least for the manslaughter count, had risen to the level of recklessness, which would assume that it rises to the level of negligence. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think that there there is a chance that that he could be, but I also think it's equally, probably more so that it's again a hung jury. We will be watching it all. Lexi, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks, Carly. Have a good day.